Sorry I got interrupted, but I haven't done a video in a long time because I, I had no phone um, with the camera. And my other camera needs an SD card. But when I, So what I just talked about was the attack I had. There was someone on my roof. I went out there. I was just, I'm in here singing Elvis, singing Prince songs, and they just keep messing with me. I found out the neighbor has a treehouse. And I won't directly accuse the neighbor because the devil went around making up accusations that weren't true. You have to have evidence before you start accusing people. I can feel it to him. I do feel it to him, but I don't have no real... I mean, did I see him personally? Me personally? No. If I saw him, I would say it. But they did use a treehouse that's in his backyard. The perpetrator that did escape jumped into the bushes next door and was crawling up to that treehouse. I even saw his arms when he was way up in there as he sat down. You could see his arms. I saw him travel away from my yard up into deeper in the treehouse. And then there's other people up there too. And he has a plastic thing in his backyard. I believe it might even be a hole with a base. There might even be some people down there. There you go. But God is doing something great in my life. Like he's letting me know I have nobody. Like my family, my friends. There's no one that's been there for me. I mean, Julie, there's been a few friends that have really been there for me. But when it comes down to the nitty gritty, no one's there. No one is there. Because God is using this to, for me to rely on Him, to put all my trust in Him so He can show me that He's there for me. Which is beautiful because that's what the Bible says He will do that. He will actually carry you and you'll say, I only saw you know, one foot of uh, footprints, I mean, if I remember it right. And He goes, yeah, you were on my back. Those weren't your footprints, they were mine. In other words, Christ was carrying the person, you know. But it's been very traumatizing, very scary. Sometimes it ain't scary, sometimes it's liberating, but it's, either way it goes, it's, it's bizarre, for sure. And I'll show some, some footage later of what I got, which isn't much now, but it shows that what I'm saying is true, because there is something, you know, but not what I wanted to show. But that doesn't matter, because I won't be showing through a camera in the near future. Anyways, it'll be the real thing. The, the, what's being given is, is the ability to lower the veil off of what's going on and there's already one way to see them as they are in our reality our realm on uh, you know like our size driving cars you know what i mean just walking through our realm there is a way to see them but then there's another realm which probably is the real realm that we're in the matrix you know which which is probably just as physically real as this place and it's probably where we're really at but that one is going to be lowered supernaturally through the Holy Spirit. So everything I said to them is, is, is coming true. There's evidence to support it. I told them three years ago, if you don't leave, God's going to remove your faces. No, actually I said if you murder me, kill me, he's going to destroy you, but if you don't leave. Actually, I said, if you if you kill me, disappear me, arrest me, frame me, any of those kinds of things, you don't have to get in my way at all. But if you get in my path in a serious way, God's going to remove your faces. And I don't mean your face, actual face. I mean, show the world what's really going on. People will see right through it. Then their toys won't work, their gifts. They'll be terrorized. They'll have the terror in them they can't even imagine full terror and then they're going to be completely beaten to a pulp by the people are beaten to the pulp people I feel if it's that it'll be God if it's us it'll be people but there's two ways this can go and I, and I will keep praying about it to make sure I'm right before it becomes the gospel but this is what I feel from the Holy Spirit and I'm going to keep praying about it. There's two ways this can go. And this is where it's been for three years. They could either allow what's coming to happen. Which gives them more time. Two years. To think of another plan. Or they can completely jump in its way. And whether they succeed or not will be up to God. But whatever happens then God will return instead and carry on this mission. If God has to do this mission himself, they are going to be punished a thousandfold on just this alone.
they are going to feel a thousand times the pain of what's coming from the churches. The churches are, are, are going to change. They're going to get accurate. They're going to get help from the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit's coming to help. We are going to be able to bring in regular people to see the truth through the power of the Holy Spirit <clears throat> to remove the veil. It's going to be done in a way, I feel so far, slow, so not to cause such a panic, to not to cause such disorder. It's, it's going to be in a way to help people cope with, with reality. Now, if they get in the way of that, if they make God any angrier, if there's further... Uh, uh, what do you call it when you, uh, non-cooperation, then God will have to intervene and uh, he'll be very, 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 very angry. And that means uh, judgment. That means a lot of punishment. And they won't be with each other cackling and, and, and you know, feeling so big and mighty. But that's what I got so far, and I'll keep praying about it, but that's what I got so far. And it's amazing because I never thought ever, I mean, I know I, I felt this, the Holy Spirit told me this a few years ago, but I, I totally forgot about the veil part of it, where God's going to remove the veil. I totally I forgot about that part. And when it happened a few days ago, and I, was able to, and I was able to see it for myself, I was like, wow, I forgot. That's right. God's going to remove the veil. And I saw it, and I was like, wow, that is really strange, very, very strange. I guess you had to see it to understand what I'm talking about. But yeah, when, but when I saw it, it just confirmed everything that the Holy Spirit's been telling me. It confirmed it. I mean, this is not me, folks. The stuff I've, that's been happening is not me. It ain't my power. I got no power. You know? I, nor do I want any of my own power. I just, it's, it's through the Holy Spirit. But it was amazing. I prayed over it, and it, boom. And then suddenly they... I somehow messed with the footage, and the good stuff is gone. The good, I mean, it's like, I, why well, I didn't show you anything? There's nothing really there to show you, except there's something that you'll say, well, there's some, a few ghosts, but that's just ghosts. No, these are fallen angels. And then the good footage was taken away by them, which is not allowed, unless the Holy Spirit did it, but they're not allowed to do that. Because once you use something, it's gone. See, they have a black magic, they believe in this black magic thing, okay? So when they do their black magic, and if it doesn't work, it don't matter. It's gone. They did what they did. It's used up. They think they're going to go back and retrieve. Hey, I, let me try to give you an example. This is just an example because I, I don't know how black magic works. But if I use a rabbit's foot for something, I leave the rabbit's foot inside the guy's car, but my magic thing doesn't work. I cannot go back in there and retrieve the, the rabbit's foot if I left it in the car for the magic to work. I can't retrieve it. Because once he finds that rabbit's foot and he realizes what I try to do with that in, in the magic world, it's his. Because you give it to them as a gift to hurt them. That's what they do. It's a gift to hurt them. So if it fails, you still don't get your magic back. If you do, you only curse your magic. All you do is curse yourself. So they tried that with everything that they've ever failed on, which is basically everything big, and except for the how to see the reptilians, which is still inside my heart and my brain. And that I gave to the Holy Spirit too, by the way. So everything I, I get, I give to the Holy Spirit right away. And I could use it for the church's benefit, not to build myself up, but to help the churches realize that Christ is real and for the churches to give Christ the glory. Christ wants to be worshipped. He wants the glory. And he's going to get it, whether he has to come down and do it himself or they finally get smart and just back up. And they could think of another way or something else or another thing or whatever, but that's what I would do to buy some time. Because it's not it won't take long once they make that move. There's no time to think about anything. There'll be no time for anything. So and I have messed stuff up myself. I start getting on a roll, I start bragging about how great I am, and I'm not great at all. And anything that's good in the human world is nothing in God's realm. You understand what I'm saying? God, God's ways are not our ways. God's ways are way above our ways. So if I think, oh, look at me trying to save everybody, that's, compared to God, it's nothing. It's the right thing to do, however. It's, I'm on a, for, as a human, I'm on the right track. 
But God is perfect. He don't make the mistakes that I make. And the gifts that I have are not for me. They're from God. I can't make them come when I want them to come. They come when they're ready to come. They show up when they're ready to show up. I don't, you know, I pray about stuff. That last time I prayed and it happened. But that was, uh, I don't know if they, they've all came out that way. I never, not really. I didn't even really know what was going to happen. Things would just suddenly pop up. They would make moves against me. And basically everything that's happened, they've told me themselves. They, they come again. They, they, they invite themselves into my life. I don't know why, but they do. And then they give me information that I'm not supposed to have. I end up using it against them. Or planning to. I haven't used it yet, but I'm planning to. Because God, that's what God wants. And then they get mad at me. When I, I didn't come to your home and try to hurt you. I didn't steal the information from you. You came into my world and tried to hurt me. And the information you tried to hurt me with, that you left as a curse, it became mine. And then they get mad at me. Anyways, they think it's about me, so they have all their focus on me. I said, don't focus on me. You better focus on God, because you know what? You guys get rid of me if God even allows it. There's no one coming after me on this mission. The next person that comes is God. So, you need to go, oh, if Orion's gone, a.k.a. Orion, a.k.a. Orion, we'll just get uh, this person or that person. That ain't happening. It's part of my repentance for a life lesson. And it's to build my faith. And it's to show me more accurately of what I used to accuse God of doing when I was angry at him. It's to show me more of what's really going on so I have more of an understanding of what's going on. I have only bought them time. Feeling sorry for them or feeling bad for them or, because of my own sin, understanding them to a certain degree. Which is wrong to do. When God tells you to do something, you do it right away. Don't wait. Though he never did give me a deadline, I'm, I could still take a little time and slow down and still have a little time. I, I had just a little time, but not much. But they panicked. Like, as soon as I got this information, they panicked right away. They're, ah, they started driving around, skidding, throwing stuff. They just lost their minds, thinking I was going to use it that moment, not knowing it's, that it's happening right now. Next week, next month, month after. This is down the road. But there's not much time left, because I'm not God. And so God sets the time, not me. I just feel what he's telling me, and I warn him. I give the warnings out like I'm supposed to do. There you go.